In the previous video, we have successfully created the Google Maps view in our application, as now can be seen in iPhone 6 emulator in our Xcode project. So, but uh, one of the challenges many developers will uh, face and think about is uh, how to change this uh, um, size of this uh, map view in our application. Uh, because by default it's taking like um, now 100% uh, size of the screen um, and so one of the ways to do it is by applying the libraries from uh, uh, Google Maps API uh, here is this uh, GMS map view and then we can add some later changes parameters here however I have to say that this this is not very well documented for Swift language at the moment uh, for this purpose. So and also many developers are used to use um, Xcode uh, tools or ways of doing things uh, in order to control the size or and behavior of of various views in the application. So I will sh show you just that. So first of all, I will exit from the emulator and move to my storyboard so we can find the um, view controller here and uh, so in order to control our map in a separate uh, view I will search for what's called container view and here it is and I will drag and drop it on the main uh, view controller so let's say uh, in this scenario we would like to have a square size sort of um, map uh, centered in the very middle uh, center of the of the screen so I will adjust it and as you might know we need to add also constraints so that it sticks to the very center for all devices and all screens and then um, as you can see also new view controller uh, sort of item has been created here and uh, that means it will also behave and act very in a similar way as I, like the view controller any view controller in the application and uh, that also means that as for the main view controller also for this new uh, container view controller we will need to add a new swift file where we will, we will add the code which will control this um, map view behavior so I go to uh, my map folder and choose to add a new file I choose Swift file next and then we'll name it my map controller okay and what we will do here is simply um, copy the code um, actually the whole, whole code from the view controller copy and um, paste it into my map controller okay obviously we need to change the class name to the new one which is my map controller now I will move back to this view controller of the, the main view controller and um, we just simply delete all the code related to our map because we will use the new my map controller um, to display uh, this map so uh, one more thing we need to do before we launch uh, the application we we need to add this newly created file to our new view controller so we activate it and go to class and here it is my map controller so we choose it and um, we are ready to launch the application in the em emulator okay and congratulations you have managed to reduce the size of your map and center it uh, so obviously you can also apply all your Xcode uh, design skills and, and make uh, many different designs uh, of your map. So also we can change it vertically, horizontally and so on. 
Thank you for watching and see you again.